Hey YouTube, hope everybody's doing well out there. Short five minute video, I swear. We're gonna try to keep it to that. It's gonna suck because we got the highway and my ugly ass, but hey, you come for the information and I'm here to share it. So here you go. Here's what I got. And let's walk across the yard and I'll show you what I need to do. So like six months ago when COVID hit and all that crap, I decided to be an at home fabricator. I wanna build boats, build high end custom pieces of equipment that people can use to get close to critters that's what i'm all about well let's uh let's look to see how i got so far this my friends it will be the first boat to come out of my shop for a customer this is a 2072 28 inch sides all ready to go all right, we're going to do center console, things of that nature. It's getting over 200 horsepower on the back. But as you can see, it needs a trailer because that's just for me moving shit around the, sh the yard. So let's look at trailers. What do you like in a trailer? I like this, okay? That's sporty, nice, aluminum, pretty lines. Of course, that's my own signature deal there. But that's aluminum and i'm not going to build that that's you know four to five thousand dollars depending on what the label says on the side of it this venture trailer steel okay everybody's seen one of these four inch channel i do like the long sweeping you know body lines to it yeah i know it's a boat trailer but yeah looks good but single axle ain't gonna cut it and honestly, if I build that, it's gonna look like that. It's gonna look like, yeah, cookie cutter, like everything. So I got one more trailer. Now this is an Eagle trailer and it's a tube chassis. It's a tandem. This is my uh, 20 foot boat as well. My personal boat um, that I've modified this trailer to fit. But, and I'm gonna do a few things different, but this is what I like, okay? So as a fabricator, what's the hardest part? Right here, bending this, all right? Making sure this is structurally sound to hold all that weight for Indiana roads, best roads, Midwest roads. Sorry for the highway guys. That's, yeah. So let's go back over here, look at this bender, okay? Because I'm not going to do that crazy fish cut. I, yeah, it works great, but if you got to cut it, that's time. If you got to weld it, that's time and the chances of, you know, your ability. Let's just put it that way. Um, yeah, so if I can bend it precisely, then that's going to be great, right? Save a lot of time, money, energy, and it's going to look good if I can do it right. So here's what we're starting with, okay? This is inch and a half by four inch by eighth inch wall, all right? I like the eighth inch wall. Um, that's pretty standard on all trailers. Most trailers are two inch by four inch or two inch by five, but that's what I went with, all right? And they're 25 foot sticks. So with this tubing uh, or pipe bender, 16 ton Harbor Freight POS, you know what it is. Um, I took my small die with the intentions of the flat stock riding on here and it crushing the inside of the bend on purpose. That's what I want. All right. And just luckily the inside of this is like, I don't know, five, something like that. Four and three quarters inches. It's just enough room to get it in here. I went with the widest setting on the rollers to make it easier. Okay. And honestly, this thing probably would have done it with four tons. It was that easy. I, I was really surprised. So here's what we ended up with. Now you gotta imagine my four by four here. That's gonna be my tongue, all right? But it'll start back there, okay? I'm gonna go across right behind my bend where that structural tube hasn't been compromised by the bend, all right? Crossbar across there. Of course, I'll have multiple crossbars across there to hold the weight. But my tongue will start back there and it'll come right up here. Now, currently that's like 23 feet. So I'm probably gonna go about two to three more feet longer. All right, but let's look at this bend. That's what the whole video is about, right? So the outside of the bend, 
hasn't been compromised. The top of the bin, there's a little crowning to it, but it's not stress cracked. It's not, you know, nothing like that. Still, you know, pretty fair structurally. But when you look on the inside of it, I mean, it, it really looks like, it looks like a high end bend. I mean, it really does, I think. There's no cracking, no, no nothing. It's just a, a soft mandrel bend. Might have been better if I, you know, did a little bit wider. And you know, if I do this again, I might use a block of oak or something like that to uh, to make this come out a little little softer. But honestly, for the first time trying it, and like I only put one side in twice. That side uh, that was that was go to. That was what I ended up with. <clears throat> my uh, my idea behind it is to keep this wide get everything in there get my tongue at a 90 and then pull these two in with come along so there you have it youtube i you know once again i tried to keep this under five minutes if i didn't well give me hell in the comments who cares right but uh, when i search rectangular tubing on youtube and nothing comes up or they're trying to teach me how to weld and cut and hey boys that's not bending and running it through a tubing roller that's not bending that's rolling so yeah my way of bending rectangular tubing especially for a boat trailer it's gonna work out great guys always stay safe shoot straight shoot often and uh wear them pfds when it comes time to hang out in the water we'll see you next time right here